So in a previous video, we created a file called pet name generator, which was a script that called our function first name generator um, that helped us generate a name. And I specifically chose to either name an armadillo or a cat. So I can name an armadillo, whatever that is, if you try to pronounce it, a cat, whatever that is, the bug purrs. And if I made no decision, it called me so sad. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to display a file. We're going to create a file and uh, and show the file picture um, the picture with the name. So um, what I did is I went online and I got three videos, three videos, three pictures of armadillos, three pictures of cats, and three pictures of indecisiveness, which is a weird thing to Google images. The only thing that you absolutely have to do. So right now I would say go get three or the same number of each, I guess, um, files for each of whatever you're naming, and then plus three for the default, I guess, or the, the no choice one. It's really important that they, um, they all need to have the same filing convention, uh, the file name convention, I can't spell. So for me, I named them all like Armadillo 1, Armadillo 2, Armadillo 3, Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3, No Choice 1, No Choice 2, No Choice 3. So um, blah, 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 same word, yeah, same word, number, dot JPEG. So if you want to use a different type of file image, that's fine, but you need to make them all the same. Technically you don't, but just for the per I mean, there's obviously ways to do other things, but just for the purpose of what we're doing here, um, that's what we're going to pick. So I recommend pausing the video now and go find yourself some um, images that you want to use going forward. Okay, so we'll assume that you've done that. So basically what I want to do now is depending on whatever I've chosen for the animal, I want to pick that file name. All right, so um, what you want to do now is you want to write a switch case that depending on what you pick, it makes um, like the file name. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to switch again on animal choice. And remember, every time I write switch, I go ahead and I write end so that I don't forget. Okay. So for the animal choice, um, in the case one, that's going to be an armadillo. So I've named, um, I'll just call it text. I've named everything Armadillo. So whatever you've done, if you have a capital A for Armadillo, then it always needs to stay capital. If you have lowercase, it always needs to stay lowercase. All right, so case two, text would be cat. And then case three, uh, or I guess not case three, case zero, um, the text would be no choice. Okay. Now we'll worry about the number here in a second, but just for the moment, let's make sure this works. So Armadillo, it picks Armadillo. For cat, it picks cat, and for no choice, it picks no choice. Perfect. All right. So now what I want to do is I randomly want to pick a number an integer in one to three. So um, and then we're going to append that number and dot jpeg to the text we've got above. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to say, okay, so um, to randomly pick an integer from 1 to 3, remember that's going to be rand i 3. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, so my file name is going to be the text, so either armadillo cat or no choice. And then this isn't going to work, and I know that, but that's okay, I'm doing it on purpose. And then x and then dot jpeg. So that should be my file name. So if I run it, I choose an armadillo, and it says armadillo square.jpg. So that was clearly just something weird happened. So cat square jpeg, and if I run it again, no choice square.jpg. All right, so hopefully you immediately, as soon as I wrote the X, got mad at me and said, well, clearly that's not gonna work. So remember that this isn't gonna work because it's supposed to be a number, but I'm treating it as a string. So it's going to the ASCII table for one, which is some kind of random command key. I don't know what it is. 
but in order to actually see it as text, I need to know to string it. And now if I do armadillo, I've got armadillo2.jpg. I've got cat2.jpg. I've got nochoice1.jpg. Now again, now that everything's working, I can go through here and I can suppress all of my outputs. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. So make sure you have this working before um, we go to the next step, just because it's always important to pause and make sure you're just on track and stuff. All right, so I'm assuming you did that. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take all of this and we're going to throw it into a function as well. So I'm going to take everything from my line 8 down, cut, and I'm going to paste it into here. So again, we're going to be creating a function, the output of which would be, yeah, the file name. I can't spell. So this is going to be file name generator. And remember, I'm, I'm capitalizing my G, which is fine as long as you always capitalize it, or if you never capitalize it, then never capitalize it. And again, the input for this function is still going to be the animal choice. And I'm going to save it as a file name generator. So if you've done all of this right, then if you come over here and I say, this is file name generator animal choice. So if I go here and I run it, I'm going to pick an armadillo. So there's my armadillo's name, blue wormy, armadillo2.jpg. Cat is blubbugplus and cat.1.jpg. And if I pick nothing, it's so sad and no choice 2.jpg. Okay. And again, what's neat about having these as functions is that I can literally use them for anything else. Like if I don't even want to do this animal choice, I could just say file name generator and put in a three and come here girl um because my i don't have three options um two um then it generates me cat two or if i do it again cat two cat one cat two cat two cat three so so there i go okay now what i really want to do assuming you've got all that working is i actually want to display it so if i want to show a file um I can do something called I am show and I can put in the file name. Now I've called my file name this. So now every time I run this, it'll say I'm going to do an armadillo and it'll randomly show this picture of this armadillo. Okay. And if I run it again, it'll randomly show a picture of a cat. Okay. Um, but it would be nice to put the name of the cat on there so I can actually add a title and I'm going to add the title of whatever the name of the animal is which means that I can go ahead and I can suppress this because I don't need this information because I'm just gonna kind of use it internally. Now. So if I run this, I'm gonna pick an armadillo and there's my armadillo named Yormi. Okay, I'm gonna randomly do this again. I'm gonna pick a kitty cat and the kitty cat is Yiyopurus. And I keep getting the same kitty cat picture. Let's run it a couple times because it always makes me nervous. There you go, Equifoot Fuzzy. I like it, Equifoot Fuzzy. That's the name of that kitty cat. That clearly looks like that kind of a cat. And then if I don't make a choice, um, there we go. I don't know why that picture came up for indecisive, but it did. Um, and I liked it. So um, that's basically the goal of this, is if you can get this all kind of working, um, then you know you're in, in good shape. Now, you do need all of these files to make this work. So if you're going to export this or use it somewhere else or turn it in or whatever, um, you would need to make sure you have all of these together. So ideally, you've got all these in a folder by themselves. You would go here, you would right click it and create a zip file, and then that would be what you would send along if you wanted to share this information. All right, so that was fun.